Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Friday. It's our morning meeting for Friday, April 24th. I hope that you've really enjoyed our virtual spirit week this week. I've loved seeing all of your pictures. Today's last day of the spirit week is a family fun day. So you could post a picture of um, your family and write about something that you like to do together. Cannot wait to see all of your pictures. Our fact of the day is that children tend to grow faster in the spring. That's interesting. So maybe take a look and see if you've grown. You can check it out, see if you've gotten taller. When I see your pictures here, I feel like you are all growing a lot since the last time I saw you. That's interesting fact of the day. Um, and then our quote relates to family. It is from our friend Stitch. Ohana means family and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. That was one of my favorite quotes from Lilo and Stitch. Our affirmation today is I am patient. Little acorns grow into big trees, but it certainly takes a lot of time. So we want to be patient with the things that we are wishing could change. Um, patience can be difficult, but being patient is a good thing to be. Our word of the day is withered. It means wilted and drooping, like a dying tree that doesn't grow leaves anymore. We both have trees here today for our theme, but we want to be more patient and not very withered. Okay, so yesterday when I shared with you about um, next week's schedule for meet, I thought we were going to meet on Wednesday for Group C, but the calendar has a parade listed, which sounds pretty interesting. So I didn't want to schedule anything on Wednesday in case there's a parade happening. So the groups will be um, on Monday at 10 a.m. So mark your calendar because it's Friday and Monday will be here before you know it. Um, at 10 a.m., Josh, Nora, Mackenzie, Navea, Ariana, Hope, Dylan, Megan, and Will, you guys are going to go to the top of Google uh, Classroom like you did on last week. You're going to click the link that will be there. And then we are going to be talking about the tale of Despero. Um, and I'd also like you to bring with you or have near you um, some of the books you've been enjoying. So we can talk a little bit about the books that we've been reading since we've been home um, and also talk about our read aloud. Okay, so on Tuesday at 10 a.m., Luis, Emma, Madison, Millen, Ryan, Anna, Jeremy, and Aiden will meet with me. And then at 10.45 on Tuesday, I'll meet with Sabrina, Athalia, Krista, Eli, Luciana, Malachi, Haley, and Lily. Okay, so please mark your calendar so you know which day and which time you're going to meet with us. I'm excited for us to be able to... Um, to chat more. I think it was really great to see everyone last week, but with so many people, I think that's what made it a little bit laggy and that's why it was a little hard to see each other. So I hope with small groups, we'll be able to talk a little bit more and I'm really um, interested in how you've been liking the book so far. So um, mark your calendars, looking forward to next week's meets. Okay, today's to-dos. Um, after the morning meeting is over, you can leave a Flipgrid message um, or any point today if you want to just come in and say hi. Um, please write Dylan a warm fuzzy note on the Padlet. He is our TTG and today is his warm fuzzy day. Ms. Viscaldo and I have um, notes for him up already. So please add your note. Today's daily check-in is a Google form about how this week went for you. I'm just trying to see how everyone's doing. Um, so please fill that out for me. We have our 12 times table quiz today. Ask someone at home to time you for two minutes and give it your best try. Okay, um, and then for math also, um, I created some different assignments. So not everyone has the same thing. So if you check under math for Google Classroom, you'll see what your job is today. If you have any questions on it, just let me know, okay? I don't have any new chapters for you for the Tale of Jespero today because I wanna let um, children catch up who might have fallen behind because we will be talking about the book when we meet next week and you really should have been reading and listening to it. Um, so if you have not, been um, listening, you need to catch yourself up. Okay, today is a day to listen to lots of chapters and then this weekend keep listening so that when we meet um, next week, everyone is up to the same place. Okay, there's an assignment for you to do today for ELA for the Tale of Despero. I am it for you here so I can just go over it with you quickly. Okay, so you're going to click on the Google slide and type right in the box. You can write your name. 
write down the characters that we've met so far, like the main characters. I would say there's four really key ones. And then if you want to write down a few of the um, other secondary characters, you can. And then for plot, it would be way too much to tell me everything that's happened. So what I'd like you to do is say what each character seems to want. Okay. And then for setting, um, there, I know there's one main setting in the book, but within that one main place, there has been two settings that have been very different from each other. And then there was another setting that um, Meg has had been at. So if you can write down the three different settings and then submit that, that is today's ELA work. Independent reading, um, spend some time today reading anything that you choose. There's so many great options for you from um, if you want to read on the computer, if you have a book at home that you're enjoying, then carry on with that too. There is a lesson for you today on writing on repeating line. Um, Sabrina and Haley, thank you if I used your blog posts. I hope that's okay with you guys. I shared um, blog posts where I found some repeating lines from you. Um, today in the comments of the writing lesson, if you can think of any other books where you've noticed that the author repeats a line, um, I mentioned some in the lesson today, but if you can think of others, then write them down. It's interesting to, to uh, share that with each other and share that. Um, try that strategy out in your writing today or this weekend. It is the last weekend of the blogging challenge and there are some weekend blogging badges. So it's your last opportunity to earn those weekend blogging badges. So if you blog Saturday and Sunday, then you will earn those badges. Okay, it is our last day of Virtual Spirit Week. Um, it's a great chance for you to post a picture of your family and share something you like to do together. I am looking forward to seeing all of those pictures. Okay, so have a great Friday, everyone, and a fun weekend. I'll be back with you Monday for the morning meeting. Mark your calendars if you are a Monday meet group because we'll be meeting at 10 a.m. All right, have a great day, everybody.